Now let's do an example of finding the critical points of a function. Suppose f of xy is equal to y cubed plus 3x squared y minus 6x squared minus 6y squared. Well, recall our first step is to find what the critical points actually are, and then we'll classify them. So the first step is we compute the gradient of f. Well, this is not terribly hard to do. Right? So first we take the derivative with respect to x. So that gives us 6xy minus 12x, comma, derivative with respect to y would be 3y squared plus 3 x squared minus 12y. And we want to find the points where this is equal to the zero, the zero vector. In other words, we want to find the xy such that both 6xy minus 12x is equal to zero and 3y squared plus 3x squared minus 12y equals 0. Well, let's look at this first equation here. I can factor a 6x out. So 6x times y minus 2. So this implies that either x equals 0 or y equals 2. Now let's take this case by case. If x equals 0, then this second equation becomes 3y squared minus 12y. Well, that's equal to 0. And we can again factor this, factor out a 3y, and we'll get 3y times y minus 4. So that gives us the critical points 0, comma, 0, and 0, comma, 4. Now let's examine the case where y equals 2. In this case, the second equation becomes 12 plus 3x squared minus 24 equals 0. Or in other words, 3x squared is equal to 12. And this is equivalent to x squared equals 4 which means our x has to be either plus or minus 2, giving us the values 2, 2, and minus 2, 2. So these are our four contestant critical points. Now let's actually categorize them. To categorize them, I recommend we use a chart. A chart that's going to have all the parts we need. The point itself, the Hessian, or the determinant of the Hessian more accurately, and finally, the second derivative value. So let's compute what the Hessian is. Recall the determinant of the Hessian or this df is fxx times fyy minus fxy squared. So I need the second derivatives. Now, second derivative of this is got to be 6y minus 12. 6y minus 12. And now I want to take the derivative of 
with respect to y of this guy. So that would be 6y minus 12. And then I have to subtract the partial, the mixed partials. So this would be the derivative of, well, we might as well just use this guy and take him with respect to y minus 6x squared. Okay, so that's our Hessian. And our second derivative with respect to x, our two derivatives of x, is this guy. Okay, so let's make a table. I'm going to make it over here. So let's call this xy. That's going to be our candidate critical point. And then we'll have the Hessian, the determinant of the Hessian, I should say. Y. And then we'll have f x x. And finally, we'll have the type. So our four candidate critical points are 0, 0, 0, 4, 2, 2, and minus 2, 2. So now, the determinant of the Hessian for each of these is easy to compute. Turns out this one is 144, as is this one. And these two are minus 144. Recall from our cases that if the determinant of the Hessian is negative, it's automatically a saddle point. Now for the two remaining cases, we have to figure out what the second derivative is. So I'll let you compute it at home and skip to the answer. This one is minus 12, and this one is 12. So if we have a case where the determinant of the Hessian is positive, and the second derivative is negative, then this is a local maxima. If the determinant of the Hessian is positive and the second derivative uh, with respect to x is positive, then it's a local minima. And, that, and here we have found all of the critical points and what they are. So we have two saddle points, a local maxima and a local minima.